In uh, 1900, Moose Creek was one of the main sources of salmon for the Chickaloon tribe. It was um, a flourishing salmon stream. Apparently there were so many salmon you could walk across their backs. By the late 1920s, the railroad had straightened and diked Moose Creek. So that causes the water to flow faster. And when you cause the water to flow faster, you rinse out the small gravels, the gravels that are acceptable for salmon to redden, which means nesting. By the 1960s, the very large bedrock waterfalls had formed, which were impassable barriers for fish passage. Uh, the Chinook salmon would pool up at the bottom of the largest waterfall and die there. It was a drag when they told us that we couldn't harvest what little fish were left. And we don't really want to catch the last fish in the ocean or the last fish in our stream, which is why we are being proactive about it rather than just always reactive. In the early 2000s, uh, 2005 to 2007, Chicklin Village Traditional Council, along with many partners, um, both financial and technical support, uh, restored the, some of the curves to Moose Creek and uh, bypassed the waterfall barriers on Moose Creek for fish passage. The before aerial has a large waterfall on it and it's pretty much a straight line. The after restoration project um, is a, a S-turn, so where there was the letter I, it became the letter S. Right after the stream was put back in its bed, the fish started coming back up. The first time they opened it up, there were four kings at the bottom, and they shot up the creek. For a long time, I couldn't present about this without crying, because it was like giving birth a little bit. And I can only imagine how, how the um, project people felt with having been out there every day with this project, but I'll tell you, it was pretty emotional, and it still really is, because that's what we were put here for as tribal people, is to steward this land. Without salmon habitat, we won't have salmon. So it, it's not like we can just ask the salmon to move over a stream or move to the next bay. Um, we need to protect the salmon habitat where it is now and restore what we may have already lost. You know, it's all uh, kind of interconnected. Life is a big circle and this is just uh, one of the stops along the way. And uh, we, we're working for it to continue. Learn how to become a kingmaker from taking small actions on your property to placing land in a conservation easement. For more information, call 907-746-6406.